Creating Eco Permanence. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 269. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 269, May 20th, 2018 edition. Today what I'd like to talk about is eco-permanence, creating eco-permanence. What is that? Well, it's really permanently ecological systems, sustainable systems designed to last forever, meaning that they are flexible, they're adaptable, and they are by definition sustainable so that they give more than they take. And I think most people right now agree that the way that we're living really isn't sustainable. And so systems are needed if we are going to continue to inhabit this planet for the next several centuries. It might be time to start taking advantage of all the technology, the know-how, know-how and the motivation that people have to create sustainable systems. Everybody's not on board with the idea, but we believe that if we can make sustainable and creating eco-permanence easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own, and we're capable of creating a sustainable planet that will benefit all people and all life on it. And so this is what one community is doing, and everything you see happening in the background here is our process. It's everything that we're designing and developing that covers all aspects of sustainability to create that eco-permanence and start shifting the consciousness and shifting the culture of humanity towards sustainability, creating an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, combines them with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as highest good education models, highest good economic models, fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship. And putting these things together is an evolution of sustainability that will change the way that people think about things, creating eco-permanence in all aspects of life, not just in housing and food and energy, which is what everybody's focused on, but building on those foundations to also expand and include education, to also expand and include fulfilled living practices, economic models, the medical system, addressing all of the challenges of this generation and generations to come with a model like this by providing enough of what people need in a cooperative and collaborative way that focuses on what is in the highest good of humanity and all life on this planet rather than take everything I can for myself. The idea is to create a cooperative and a collaborative culture designed to do what's best, focusing on what is best for all people instead of just the individual and spreading that model as a better way of living. And not by forcing it on people, not by saying, hey, this is the way to do it. When we talk about highest good for all, our goal is to work to the best of our ability for the highest good of all life and all people on this planet. And to do it non-ideologically. Not to say that we know what the best way to do it is, but to say that we are doing our absolute best to make all of our decisions with that goal in mind. And we feel that this is really missing from society right now. There are so many people that are just working for their own gain or so many people that are struggling and surviving, just trying to survive, rather, struggling for their own survival. And so how can somebody give to others? How can somebody support others? How can somebody help others if they're constantly struggling for their own survival? And our, our answer to that is, is they really can't. And our solution to that is open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions to solve that problem to create a life of abundance built on sustainable infrastructure that will provide a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now, open sourcing and free sharing it, and designing teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world to teach others how to live this way and to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too. A solution model designed specifically to create additional solution creating models. And so this is our idea of creating eco-permanence. Design a model that is sustainable, that is replicable, do it yourself replicable, and make it open source and free share it so it's easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so that the idea will spread on its own and simultaneously address all the challenges of this generation and generations to come with this model and invite everybody who's interested to participate. If we do this, we can, within our lifetime, by creating a sustainable 
and self-replicating model like this create a sustainable civilization, a sustainable planet, and that will benefit everyone and everything. And so we think there is no more noble goal, no more noble adventure, and no more noble venture than doing that. And this is what our all-volunteer nonprofit organization is doing. We're a 100% volunteer organization working towards creating a world that truly works for everybody and open sourcing and free sharing all the plans, designs, and everything that's necessary to achieve that. And so if this sounds interesting to you, get involved. But first, let's check out one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of creating eco-permanence and designing all the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints necessary for teacher demonstration hubs that can be built anywhere in the world. And everything that you see happening in the background here is what we're creating. This is what we're up to. So with that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards that goal. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, completed his eighth week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week, Shadi continued instituting changes, removing pieces, and simplifying the design and calculating new part sizes. This included removal of the base, redesign of drawers, redesign of sliding mechanism, and removal of custom curved corner pieces. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued with the Cobb Village Pod 3 render updates. Here is update 114 of Dean's work. This week, Dean focused on more edits and test rendering the dining hall view from the second floor. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 20th week working on the compressed Earthblock Village render editions. This week, he finished one final round of edits, adding missing shadows to this render. The render is now updated on the website also. Mike Kowalski, game developer, finished his seventh week helping update our Recycled Materials Village Pod 6 renders that are too big for anything but a gaming computer. This week, Mike finished rendering the huge amount of renders you see here, which are all also now integrated into the website. Michelle Pinzaru, interior designer and architectural drafter, also completed her 14th week working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7 residential renders. This week, she finished the renders shown here for the downstairs hostel living area, which can now also be seen on the website. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued work on the bathroom designs for the city center, further testing our designs in 3D. This week, we worked with the adjustment of the lights, as shown here. And the core team, working with Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 75th week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was testing lighting and creating and adding to the website this comparison of the different diffuse sconce lighting fixture types that meet our LEED sustainability criteria. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering by finishing the snow load calculation spreadsheet for the roof of the living dome, which you can see here. Yoon Lin, bridge design engineer, also completed his seventh week helping with the beam design and calculation spreadsheet creation for the city center structural engineering. This week he worked on joist design for the cupola on the fourth floor and began research for seismic load and design. And Vida Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, completed her sixth week helping with the duplicate city center materials and costs. This week's focus was initial research and updating of material quantities and costs for the DIY furniture components of this structure, finishing updates to the basement layout in AutoCAD, and developing new area and perimeter sections for the AutoCAD master file. Last but not least, Da Hua Feng, civil engineer, completed his third week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designs for the city center. This week, he split the residential zones in AutoCAD, calculated the required sprinkler head and system demands, and updated all the related tutorial details. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, 
scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This past week, we designated timeframes for when we will initiate setup of the apiary, water lab, and acquisition of farm animals, all based on having the manpower and knowledge with our 20 to 50 on-site pioneers and volunteers. We also added clarifying information to our garden establishment section and researched worm towers. The core team also researched and began creating the apiary parts and cost analysis list, adding images and descriptions to the Google Doc, as shown here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team began the process of finishing the Learning for Life ongoing growth strategies resource. You can see some of this last week's work here, and we'd say we're now about 30% done with the page updated redesign. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the Highest Good Network software team, consisting of Samya Manahar, Shuber Mittal, and Swati Jayasilin, continued their work on the software. This week, they set up the ability for the software to send emails, created password resent functionality, alphabetized projects and teams, fixed leaderboard time bugs and bugs to reset the projects list when admins create time entry for others, implemented weekly trend analysis charts using actual data, and added active, inactive filter options. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of creating eco-permanence that will benefit all people and all life on this planet. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything it is that we're creating, visit our written blog, visit our website, all the details are there. If you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. If you'd like the easiest way to help out, visit us on one of our social media networks and uh, like our content, help us share our content, help us spread the word. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on LinkedIn, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Twitter, we are on Pinterest, we are on Instagram, all the different, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to access our information and share our information. Of course, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, and if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. Bottom line is we make it as easy as possible. And of course, thanks. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for the comments that we get. Thank you for the shares, the likes. If you're somebody that's donated to our project, we really appreciate that as well. We are a 100% unpaid team. So we're a nonprofit organization. I'm not paid. Nobody else on our team is paid. So 100% of all donations that we get go to forwarding our mission, supporting our website infrastructure, the cost of operations, but it doesn't go to paychecks. And so this is our way of creating global transformation. You're invited to participate. This is how we're creating ego permanence. And uh, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.